It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday Fool. You need this tool. My name is Kyle Voss and on Fridays I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop or that I've featured on this channel. All right, we're talking bending today. Two bending. So if you've ever wanted to build your own roll cage, your own chassis, bump bars, drift bars, suspension parts, really anything with tubes, then this is the setup you need. This is everything you need right here. So this is the 105 HD two bender by Pro Tools. Uh, it's pretty much a staple. Just about everybody uses it. There's a couple other brands out there. I've used just about all of them and I actually prefer this the most. And I'll tell you why. Pro Tools has been around a long time and the design has not changed much over the years. It's the same old tried and true, works every time, never have any issues design. Really pretty simple, you got a bending die in the center. Kind of rotates around this pin here. You have a follower die or a slider die, or I don't know what they actually call it, but you have a die back here that basically stays put. You lock the tube in. As you rotate this, it drags it through and bends it. Could say mandrel bend it, except it doesn't have a mandrel in the center of the tube, but it does help keep the shape on the outside of the tube because of the two dies. So the outer die, kind of is like this. This inner die that actually rotates is like this. And so it kind of keeps it from expanding this way and letting the tube crush, kind of keeps it square. And that's the one thing I do like about this compared to other ones. There's some other ones I've seen that um, just kind of pull the tube through and don't have that outer die. When it comes to like chrome molly and stuff, I have seen them kind of crush or flatten that tubing. You can buy Tons of different size dies for this. You can buy tubing dies. You can buy pipe dies, I believe. You can buy square tube dies. You really have a lot of options when it comes to the things that you want to bend with this particular unit here. I have a one inch die, a one and five eighths, and a one and a half. Really, that gets you everything you need to do when it comes to building drag racing chassis out of chromoly. Now, this configuration here is a electric hydraulic operated bender. You can buy this exact bender that's manually operated. So if you don't wanna spend a ton of money, you can buy this exact bender. It comes with a manual arm. You can manually bend it. Basically it just ratchets the bend around. You can get it in air over hydraulic. So air operated hydraulic system. Or you can get it like what I have here, which is electric hydraulic. Pretty much just like it sounds, has a remote here, got two buttons, one button, one button extends it, and the other button just releases it. Pretty simple, right? It's got a magnet on the back, you can kind of stick this remote wherever you need to stick it. Comes with a 200 degree bending indicator, so zero all the way to 200 degrees with a little pointer. So if you're not familiar with the operation of these, this burgundy piece basically is stationary. This black arm here pivots. You basically just drop a pin, locks this arm in with the die, and then as you operate it, it just drags this die around to whatever degree bend, degree bend you want. So it does it in stages. So one full extension is only probably, I don't know, 50 or 60 degrees. And then you basically bring the arm back, drop it in the next hole, another 50 or 60 degrees, so on and so forth until you have the desired bend that you're looking for. It's talking about the follower die or the outside die. That's what it looks like. Basically the tube drags through here. Uh, so I always like to kind of polish these up and use some kind of tube lube on this outside piece. So here, this is the actual collar that locks the tube in. So the tube comes through, you slide this over, slide a pin in it, 
and kind of tighten it up with this bolt. This bolt basically just pushes the tube to the outside of this piece here, locks it in, and you just drag that thing around. So this unit comes with a stand, and I like it because it is on rollers. So I can kind of move this thing around, mop and stuff, clean up underneath it. Also comes with a bunch of hooks to hang your dies and whatever else you might want to hang on this. Got some on both sides. All right, guys, there you go. This week's tool, the 105 HD two bender by Pro Tools. I love this thing. As I always do, I'll drop you some links in the description. You can go check one of these out for yourself. Like I said, lots of variations from hand bending all the way up to roll around cart and electric hydraulic assist. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys more next week. It's Friday, fool.